Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with my five tips to successfully spring clean your home. Spring cleaning season has kicked off in my household and I definitely want to share some tips that work for me with you. And so if you're getting ready to prepare for spring cleaning, I want to share these tips because I think that they really could be beneficial. So let's jump right in. first tip is to plan and organize. This is the most important thing to do in preparation for your spring cleaning season. And you want to do this because you want to just not come in and start cleaning here and there. You want to have a plan so that you get everything done that you want to get done. And if you do that, you will truly feel a difference in your house and your house will just get everything done that it needs done to it. And so I have a spring cleaning box that I use. And those of you who have been with me a while, you've seen my video on my spring cleaning box and how I have it um, set up how I created it and kind of my process for using it. I'll link that video below in case you're interested in that. And I'm not trying to say you have to do my system here with the spring cleaning box. It's what works for me and my family. But have a system where you, whether you use a calendar and you're writing it in a calendar or whether you're writing it on a list of paper or in list. If you go to my website at athomewithnikki.com, I do have a list of all the tasks that I do in each room in my house under my printable section on the website. And feel free to use that as a guide to kind of get your list together. But you definitely want to have a list. You want to schedule times and dates and all of those kind of things you know, for your spring cleaning season. So some other tips that you want to look at in your planning process are, list your tasks, make a schedule, involve the family, and stock up on those cleaning supplies. Okay, let's talk cleaning supplies. Now the cleaning supplies I use for my daily cleaning and things like that are, are kind of different than what I use for spring cleaning because we're doing more in-depth cleaning. So you kind of have to alter your cleaning caddy. And I encourage you to do a cleaning caddy for your family. If you have little kids and you're involving them in spring cleaning, make it fun. Get them cute, bright color caddies from the dollar store and the colorful dollar spray uh, bottles and make them kind of non-toxic kind of cleaning uh, supplies and have it in their room so they can grab it every day to do the tasks that they have every day for their clean spring cleaning project. You definitely want to have all of the supplies needed and products needed and ready for your family to do the job. Tip three is purging. You know, get rid of all those things that are just kind of, you know, clogging up your home. If your kids have books that they're, they're outgrown the books, pass them along. Decorative accessories that you no longer use, pass them along. Clothes that don't fit. You want to be sure to purge during the clean, you know, spring cleaning season because this is going to make a huge difference in your home. You know, these items bless your home, but you're not using them. So move them along so that they can be a blessing to someone else. And explain that to your kids because sometimes kids have a hard time releasing their items and just let them know, you know, it's going to a home where a kid really needs it or where a kid can really love it, you know. And so find a way to kind of um, get your family to wrap their uh, heads around definitely being pro-purging. So purge, purge, purge. Tip four, refresh your home. You know, all those winter accessories or owls and different things like that, kind of switch them out. You know, even if you just move things around, move your furniture around, make your home look different, not necessarily buying things, but just switching things out, you know, and it does a huge thing and it, re you know, it rejuvenates you. It makes you feel great. You know, maybe switch out your curtains from heavy curtains to just plain inexpensive shears to let the, let the sun in and let it be airy for spring and summer just to give a different look. You know, buy some fresh flowers and put it in your home. That makes a huge impact in your home. But do stuff to just rejuvenate your home and refresh your space. my last tip is to have a reward system for yourself and your family for the spring cleaning season. Make it fun. Spring cleaning season in our home is an event and make it fun and make their, you know, it have rewards. If you do everything that you have um, scheduled, get a Starbucks gift card if that's what you love. For children, you know, give them bonus TV time or game time each day that they come in and they complete their spring cleaning task. Give them 30 extra minutes. Whatever works to motivate your family, figure that out and incorporate it into the spring cleaning process because this will make it fun. Put banners up. Do whatever you have to do to make it fun. So I hope you have a happy spring cleaning season. Definitely like this video if you want to see my caddy and things like that. Also check out my other videos that I posted this past week. I'll put all of them in the description box below with links so you can go directly to them. I hope that you all are doing great. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.